You know, it doesn't take Donald Trump very much to buy into a conspiracy theory. He told us just yesterday that he had just had a wonderful conversation in the Oval Office with the heads of Google, the people at the very top of Google who assured him nothing screwy is going on at the tech company with regards to burying results for Donald Trump. He believed him. And then unfortunately, the president turned on Fox News shortly thereafter where he saw a disgruntled Google employee by the name of Kevin Cernicky, former Google engineer, who said that, oh yeah, Google is 100% censoring results for Donald Trump, trying to bury him, and they have a plan to make him lose in 2020. Now, that's pretty damning material, right? And it seems like the kind of thing that, oh wow, that, that should be investigated. Unfortunately, there's zero evidence whatsoever to back this up. As I mentioned, Cernicky is a disgruntled Google employee. He's now being propped up by the group that has zero credibility, Project Veritas, because they've been trying forever to convince us that there is some kind of grand conspiracy taking place with these tech giants censoring conservatives, silencing their voices, stifling their search results. None of it's true, but it makes for good talking points and it gets the right wing all riled up. And now they've got Donald Trump believing this ridiculous conspiracy theory as well. Here's what Trump tweeted out. He said, I watched Kevin Cernicky, a Google engineer, say terrible things about what they did in 2016 and that they want to make sure that Trump loses in 2020. He said that in a tweet on Tuesday after watching this man on Fox News. He has also quoted uh, Peter Schweitzer, uh, the head of a conservative think tank linked to conspiracy theories against Democrats, according to the agent's France Press. And Schweitzer, much like Project Veritas, also has zero credibility. Schweitzer's books, his articles, his talking points have all been proven to be completely false and absolutely fabricated. But he is also one of the people out there right now saying that Google is somehow punishing Donald Trump. Do you know the easy, easiest way to test and see if Google is in fact punishing Donald Trump? Google Donald Trump. Google President of the United States, all you're going to get are Donald Trump search results. Google is making a killing off people searching for Donald Trump. They're also making a killing off the Trump campaign buying ads. They, they, they love him, they really do. Just like the media outlets love him even when they talk about how much they hate him because they make a ton of money off of talking about this man every day. But, Trump, maybe he wants some Google cash for his campaign. Maybe other conservatives want Google cash. They're already getting it, but they want more of it. So they create these insane conspiracy theories that again, the president's now buying into so that they can go back and threaten the companies and say, listen, we're gonna have to put strict regulations on you. We're gonna have to look over your shoulder every step of the way. That's where we're headed. What can you do to make that not happen? And Google executives will say, well, how about we write you a check for your campaign? That is what is taking place in this country right now. That is why conservatives are pushing these bogus conspiracy theories. Matt Gates, a couple weeks ago on Twitter said, there's no results on Google uh, when you search for Jeffrey Epstein and Bill Clinton. Why are they censoring that? And uh, which I pointed out to him, just Google Epstein Clinton and there's all the information you could ever want. Matt Gates got mad because he didn't understand how Google worked. He didn't know how to do a search, but it's all right there. So maybe these conservatives do think that Trump is being censored or that they are being censored or that certain news about Democrats is being censored. But if they do think that, it's because they're not smart enough to know how to perform a simple internet search. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.